So we're going to go through how the Drinking Bird toy actually works. You might remember that Drinking Bird toy in an old Simpsons episode where he says he's drinking the water. Well, what we're going to do is go through exactly how it works and how you can use it to teach kids about, well, evaporation and pressure and all that type of thing. Look down below. So we've got two little guys doing the thing back and forth. How do we set this up? Well, I'm going to wreck the blue one once he does his thing. He's going to dip his nose in. There he goes. He's going to come back on out. How we set this up is you get this and you literally dunk his head. Now the reason why you dunk his head is it gives a chance for water to start evaporating from the top of the head and the glass bulb that's inside the head. What does that mean? Well as the water evaporates out of the head, it's going to cool the air inside the head. That means that you get a low pressure area just in that space of his head and the liquid tries to fill that space. It literally gets pushed up into that space. Now what does that mean? It then overbalances, so it tips on over, and that's exactly what you're seeing going on with this uh, red one, which is about to go very soon. And when it does so, it flicks all the liquid down to his nose, which sends it right on over the edge. And you'll notice that as it tips, he's about to do it, there, you go, there goes a bubble. An air bubble goes up to the top, it flicks the liquid back down to the bottom bulb and turns him back upright again, and the cycle repeats itself. So as long as you've got a wet head, the drinking bird will keep on drinking the water. Now if you do want to get this on our store, just type drinking bird into the search box at our website in the top right hand corner. I guarantee you'll find it, and I also guarantee the kids are going to love it.